good morning or evening depending on where you are it's morning here i do feel like i have to mention that i'm in sydney australia because there are people that have been watching this channel for literally years that still seem to think i live in the uk i feel like a lot of people from america confuse the australian accent with the uk accent <laughs> I'm trying to actually be a little bit more organized at the moment with my filming. So I've gotten up early to film this video before I go to the gym and start my day. Not gonna lie, I'm normally a late riser. And when I say late riser, I mean, I usually don't get up till like 10 a.m. How am I an adult? <laughs> Anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about squirting because this is just such a contentious topic and there's, I feel like there's so much misinformation around it and I feel like it's something that causes people with vulvas a lot of insecurity in the bedroom and it actually stops us from like really enjoying ourselves. It really holds us back. I know that a lot of the misinformation and just general ideas about squirting have definitely held me back in the past and just stopped me from being able to like fully relax and have a good time. So I want to talk about it while I also have my morning coffee, which fruity and fresh because she's a little fruity, you know? God, I'm lame. <laughs> okay, so first things first, what is squirting? Anyone who's watched porn, which let's face it is all of us, has probably seen a dramatized version of squirting, which is the gushing, or kind of spurting out of like tons and tons of clear fluid <laughs> from a woman when she's coming. There is this misconception that if someone is squirting, they're having a huge orgasm. That can certainly be the case, but you can also squirt without having an orgasm at all. Squirting actually can come just when you're highly, highly aroused during sex. It doesn't need to happen with an orgasm. You can squirt without ever having an orgasm during sex. And some people will actually squirt so much that they will like saturate the bed. For other people, squirting might just be a very small amount of fluid. Today's video is brought to you by Adult Toy Megastore. Introducing Lucent by Share Satisfaction, New Zealand's newest luxury glass sex toy brand. Specializing in hand-blown glass toys, Lucent has sex toys for both anal and vaginal play. My favorite product in the collection is the Teardrops Glass Massager. Its stunning beaded design is so aesthetically pleasing, I leave it out on display. It literally looks like an ornament. Designed with a blunt rounded tip, it can provide firm pressure to the G-spot or any other area deep within you. The raised teardrops along the shaft have been designed to pass over every nerve ending to help you reach a mind-blowing orgasm. It's seven inches long and perfect for either vaginal or anal play. Because it's glass, the teardrops massager is also great for temperature play. Just hold it under cold or warm water until it reaches the desired temperature. It's a really intensified sensation that just takes your pleasure to the next level. I recommend pairing it with Share Satisfaction's water-based lubricant, which is a slick, moisturizing lubricant that doesn't leave a tacky finish or residue and is compatible with any toy or condom. If you want to experience the Teardrops Glass Massager or any of the products in Lucent by Share Satisfaction's range, Adult Toy Megastore always have great sales on. So hit the link below the video to stock up on some self-loving. Happy mazzing! Although the term itself kind of suggests it's like coming out like a sprinkler or something. <laughs> I think the term itself is a bit misleading too because when you say the word squirt, you kind of think of something like spraying out. And again, this is how it can happen for some people with vulvas, but for other people, it can be more of a gushing or sort of just a general release of like a lot of that clear fluid. And it is an involuntary release. It's not something that is happening because we're doing anything on purpose. Although there are obviously things you can do to make yourself squirt. I have talked about this in other videos before. I will try to find one and link it up here or down the video below. But basically it involves pressing on the G spot. That is the key to squirting for most women. Now, one of the things that holds people back from squirting is they worry that they're going to pee. And I've spoken to so many women about this I've had this experience before too, where you feel like you were about to squirt or you feel like you're about to have a really big orgasm that might include squirting and you feel yourself getting close and then you stop and you shut everything down and you're like, nope, I can't keep going, babe. Need to just 
stop. And if your sexual partner is a semi-decent person, they're probably going to say, why, is everything okay? And you've probably told them something along the lines of, I just feel weird, I feel like I'm going to pee on you. So let's just dispel this idea of squirting being peeing right now. So there have been studies done looking into what squirting fluid is, what it's made up of, because a lot of people say, well, it is just pee. And there are some differences between the fluid that comes out when someone squirts as opposed to what comes out of the urethra when you're just going to the bathroom. So the liquid that comes out when you squirt is generally clear, whereas when you pee, it's usually yellow or at least a little bit yellow. Well, mine's always really yellow because I'm never well hydrated and I drink too much coffee. Fun fact, when you go to the bathroom to pee, you should always check the color of your pee and it should be getting lighter and lighter and lighter towards the end of the day if you are properly hydrating yourself. If by the time you go to bed, you have bright yellow pee, you, my friend, are one dehydrated bish and welcome to the dehydrated bish club. <laughs> so the fluid from squirting is generally a lot more clear. Now, in terms of what is in it, there has been some study of it. There is still some debate around what it is and isn't. But what we do know is that, yes, the fluid that comes out when someone is squirting does contain urea. Now, urea is something that is found in urine. However, it is in much smaller quantities. And I think one of the best ways that you can probably tell the difference is by the odor. So like when you go to the bathroom and you pee, there is usually like a slight pee odor. Like you can kind of smell pee. <laughs> now I'm making myself sick thinking about it. It's too early in the morning. Now I've got the key. On. I know myself that I have definitely accidentally peed during sex before. I can't believe I'm admitting this, but I'm going to admit it. I have definitely accidentally peed during sex and I could tell the difference. I could tell that I was not squirting and that I was peeing. Funnily enough, I actually don't think the person that was banging me at the time the big difference was it came out yellow and it had a strong pee smell. You can obviously accidentally pee during sex if someone is pushing really hard on your bladder and also if you have a full bladder. Let's just say I was having sex with a fairly new lesbian who was still learning the ropes and was a little bit too trigger happy and got a little bit intense with pressing on what... I'm quite sure she thought was my G-spot, but was definitely going through to pressing on my bladder while I had a full bladder. So that's the other thing you can do. If you're worried that you are going to actually wet the bed, then the easiest thing you can do is before you have sex, literally just excuse yourself to the bathroom and go and empty your bladder. That way, if you feel like you are going to pee during sex, you know it's not peeing because you know you have emptied your bladder and chances are it's going to be squirting. Also, I've had a lot of women describe to me that feeling like they're getting close to an orgasm also feels like they're going to pee. And so they have stopped themselves from just having an orgasm because of the fear that maybe it wasn't going to be an orgasm and maybe it was going to be pee. So another little tip I've got for that, because I have had all of these fears myself, you guys, is to masturbate. This is pretty much the, the fix all for any situation with sex because you can do it in privacy. You don't have to worry about embarrassing yourself. You don't have to worry about what you look like. You can just kind of essentially be like a scientist with your own body. So I highly recommend really carving out some time, getting a great sex toy or a vibrator and exploring yourself and allowing yourself to actually push through that sensation of feeling like you're going to pee. If you're really worried that it's going to happen and you're going to like saturate the bed, you can also just lay down a towel before you masturbate. And then if you know that you are someone that squirts and maybe you do release a lot of fluid, just lay down a towel 
before you start having sex with your partner or there are even now some special sex blankets which are made specifically to squirt on or just have any kind of fluids that come out during sex on and they are stain resistant so they wash out really easily. I think the other really important thing to remember here is that sex is messy and this comes down to us just having really crap sex education that didn't tell us anything real about sex anything important that we needed to know and so we look to the movies and we see sex as this like perfect thing like it's so clean and so like all the movements look so like smooth and there's no awkwardness but the reality is sex is often awkward there can be cringe moments there can be smells there can be secretions there can be you know, things coming out that you weren't prepared that were going to come out of your body it's called being a human being and i think we need to kind of embrace that and realize that it's not you being weird it's something that happens to everyone everyone has some kind of excretions or fluids while they're having sex because our bodies also get lubricated usually when we're having sex so you won't be the only one secreting things chances are your partner will be as well and chances are very high that the person you are having sex with has also had a partner excrete things or gush things out onto the bed so i think the thing to keep in mind next time you're having sex and you're worried about oh my gosh am i going to squirt or am i going to pee am i going to orgasm or is, is something else happening right now is that you actually just relax into it and just accept the fact that sex is meant to be a little messy i know there are going to be some people in the comments section that are going to go absolutely to town i don't know why but people get so worked up about this topic and there are going to be people mostly men because it's always men that say this that have paragraphs to say about how I am wrong and squirting is just peeing and squirting is gross. If you're having sex with someone that shames your body's natural responses, that is a huge red flag. Do not have sex with that person ever again. In fact, as soon as they say that comment, shut it all down. Okay, as I'm sure will be absolutely unshocking to everyone who watches this channel my camera battery died evidently i can just never get my batteries fully charged when it's time to film anyway i'm running super late for the gym now because i got so carried away talking about this topic because i'm so passionate about it and it's just because i feel like we are constantly being shamed particularly as women particularly as people with vulvas around how we're supposed to look and react during sex and it holds us back from experiencing pleasure so i really hope this video has helped you to be a little bit more comfortable in yourself and the way that your body reacts during sex and to realize that sex is supposed to be messy and also you shouldn't bang people who make you feel ashamed of any of the ways that your body responds to pleasure. All right, that's all from me for today. I really need to run. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when my videos are going live and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah!